In December 2007, ECS participated in the purchase, through Nonatuck Mill LLC, of this 150,000 square foot brick and mortar mill building. Located at 296 Nonatuck Street in the Florence section of Northampton, Massachusetts. The site, which eventually became known as the Nonatuck Mill, attracted its first industrialists, drawn to the natural 25-foot elevation drop in the Mill River adjacent to the building in the 1830s. The hydropower was soon expanded, and a silk plantation and processing factory was built. But in 1837, a nationwide credit collapse caused the mill to fall into bankruptcy. This created the opportunity for the Northampton Association of Education and Industry, NAEI, to purchase the property. The NAEI was a utopian society which attempted to deal with some of the moral challenges faced by an agrarian society that was transforming itself to an industrial powerhouse, focusing heavily on the themes of education, slavery, fair wages, democracy, and religion. Their choice to purchase the hydro-powered mill and grow silk was both practical and moral. It was a profitable industry, which did not rely on a morally troublesome slave trade to generate those profits. Over the next half a dozen years, the NAEI became an important stop on the Underground Railroad and a nationally important center for suffragist discourse, drawing residents and visitors such as Sojourner Truth, William Lloyd Garrison, and Frederick Douglass. As our nation's third great credit collapse unwinds, ECS hopes to use this same site as a demonstration of the enduring capacity of American industry to reinvent itself in an effort to mitigate the moral challenges it faces. Unsustainable development, climate change, and fossil fuel consumption. Mostly as the result of 20th century manufacturing techniques, there were substantial amounts of waste oils and toxins on this property. Although the prior owner had conducted response actions to address some of the releases, ECS was concerned that additional response actions would be required by environmental regulators. When ECS and its partners closed on the property, the seller agreed to purchase environmental insurance as part of the closing process, and ECS was named an additional insured in the policy. Approximately four months after the purchase, oil began seeping out of a basement wall as a result of rising groundwater. A claim was filed, and now with the coverage provided by the insurance policy, ECS is implementing the remediation plan created by our talented engineers and construction group to reduce the oil, PCB, and solvent contamination that remains under a portion of the former machine shop and high bay manufacturing facility. To date, over 200 gallons of PCB-contaminated hydraulic oil have been removed using a unique multi-port fluid adduction system. ECS will be incorporating surfactant flushing to enhance the oil removal and accelerate the cleanup process. In addition to performing its core services to clean up this brownfield site, making it a wonderful and useful part of this old New England community, TerraClime Geothermal, a division of ECS, has also installed three different ground source geothermal heat pump systems. The mill has been utilized as a research and development test bed to perform a first-ever side-by-side comparison of three different geothermal technologies. During the summer of 2012, we'll be installing photovoltaic PV panels on approximately 30,000 square feet of the mill's roofing. The PV panels are expected to generate approximately 2.5 megawatts of electricity and will allow for the purchase of green power for the next 15 years under a fixed purchase price agreement. ECS takes great pride in the jobs that were created in Northampton as a result of the mill redevelopment and in the diverse mix of businesses now comfortably ensconced under one roof. In addition to the 14 ECS and TerraClimb geothermal employees who call 296 Nonatuck Street home, a dozen companies and nonprofits have made the mill their home. Despite the slow economy, we've been able to lease out 80% of the 150,000 square foot facility with healthy long-term leases. Over $5 million in improvements will have taken place when the mill is fully refurbished, a worthwhile investment in the sustainable redevelopment of our community.